is Sunday, March 31st, 2019, and this is Journal 11. Journal 11 is talking about my future. So the prompt says, hop into my mental time machine and describe a day in my future life after I have achieved all my degrees and licenses. Um, so the first question is, what setting do you see yourself in? Um, so after I've, you know, finished school and everything, I hope to be a doctor of physical therapy. Um, so probably in, I'm really interested in the hospital setting. Um, but from the people I have observed and talked to, those settings are kind of hard to come by. So probably starting out, I might be in a private practice type setting um, underneath another doctor of physical therapy. Um, so what would be my patient population? Um, I guess when people think physical therapy, most of the time they think like the geriatric age range. Um, the whole point of me going through athletic training into physical therapy is so I could try to work with athletes or active people. Um, so I think that I would have to specialize, get a specialized license for that. Um, but I know with the people that I've observed and come in contact with, um, if your office knows that that's who you want to be with, that's who you see. Um, so the next question is, what makes me excited to get out of bed every morning? Um, I guess right now, speaking of like in this time, um, I really like making rehabs for my rehab patient. Um, so I think that, and I really like seeing progress. The progress is like the big thing that I've been super excited about this semester. Um, also, I'm just really interested in, like, the different ways to gain strength back and mobility and things like that and how the body progresses. Um, so I think that that would follow through with the future. Um, so the last part is now, speaking of now, what have I done this past week or this semester or this year to make this dream a potential reality? Um, I've been really doing a lot of research on my rehab patients uh, injury specifically trying to get more information um, also I for my clinical question I'm looking into the menstrual cycle and um, knee injuries with females um, so if I'm with the active population in you know later in my life um, I'll have more of an understanding about why um, things happen and things like that. Um, I guess specifically this past week, I have applied to become a volunteer so I can get more uh, shadowing hours for graduate school. Um, and that was a really big step because I have some of them and I was going to do them at home back in Roanoke, but now I've decided to be up here for a little bit over the summer so I can not be as overloaded in my senior year in classes, so I'm going to take a class and I'm going to do some more shadowing hours up here. Um, so I think I've kind of set myself up pretty good for my senior year, but all in all, making, you know, graduating and becoming cert a certified AT and then going to graduate school and getting my license to be a physical therapist, um, going to clinical experience every day and making rehabs for my rehab project patient and doing more research with the female body um, is what I've been doing and I think that's going to set me up to know a lot about the athletic population, um, but yeah, so that's the future me, hopes and dreams, and this is Journal 11.